Good morning. Three forces act on an object. Force 1 acts southward and has a magnitude of 15 newtons. Force 2 acts westward and has a magnitude of 29 newtons. And Force 3 has a magnitude of 31 newtons and acts at an angle of 35 degrees north of east. What is the net force that acts on the object? So we have our three forces, force 1, 15 newtons south, force 2, which is 29 newtons west, and force 3, which is 31 newtons at an angle of 35 degrees north of east. We should, of course, draw a vector diagram. We have our vector diagram with force 2, force 1, and force 3, and we're solving for the net force. We're going to add all those forces together. Before we're going to do so, or before we can, we need to break force 3 into its components because it is neither in the x direction or the y direction. You can see force 2 and force 1 are already in the, the, either the x force 2 or the y direction force 1. So again, we're going to break force 3 into its components. The components of force 3 are force 3 in the y direction and force 3 in the x direction. We can use theta and sol ka ta to do so. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite theta is force 3 in the y direction. The hypotenuse is force 3. Now we can multiply by force 3 to solve for the force 3 in the y direction. Therefore, force 3 in the y direction equals force 3 times the sine of theta, and we can substitute in values. So force 3 in the y direction equals 31 times the sine of 35 degrees, or 17.781 newtons. We can, do this, we can do the same thing with the cosine of theta. The cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, or the force 3 in the x direction divided by force 3. Multiplying through by force 3 gives us force 3 in the x direction equals force 3 times the cosine of theta, or uh, 31 times the cosine of 35 degrees, which is 25.394 newtons. Then, of course, we need to redraw the free body diagram. We still have force 2 and force 1, but instead of having force 3, we have force 3 in the y direction and force 3 in the x direction. Now, considering we're trying to solve for the net force, we should sum the forces. Let's start uh, in both directions, and let's start with uh, summing the forces in the y direction. The net force in the y direction is equal to force 3 in the y direction minus force 1. Force 3 in the y direction is positive because it's up, force 1 is negative because it's down. We can now substitute in values. So we get 17.781 minus 15, so therefore the net force in the y direction is 2.781 newtons. Now we can sum the forces in the x direction. The net force in the x direction is going to be equal to the force 3 in the x direction minus force 2. Force 3 in the x direction is positive, because it's to the right, force 2 is negative because it's to the left. So 25.394 minus 29, so the net force in the x direction is negative 3.606 newtons. So notice the net force in the y direction is positive, and the net force in the x direction is negative. So the net force in the y direction is up, the net force in the x direction is to the left. So now we should draw a vector diagram with the net force in the x direction and the net force in the y direction, which are the components of the net force. So the net force in the x direction is to the left and the net force in the y direction is up. Therefore, the net force is going to be the hypotenuse of this triangle. I do want to point out that I actually had to draw this bigger than the two scale because these numbers are very small. It actually would have been too small for you to see on the board. It would have been about uh, one third that size. Uh, so now, uh, in order to find the net force, we use the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Therefore, the net force in the x direction squared plus the net force in the y direction squared is equal to the net force squared. And we can take the square root of the whole equation. To get the net force is equal to the square root of the net force in the x direction squared plus the net, the net force in the y direction squared. And we can plug in numbers. <laughs> 
the square root of the quantity negative 3.606 squared, make sure you put the negative inside the parentheses there, plus the uh, 2.781 squared, uh, so the square root of that whole thing gives you a net force of 4.55457, or with two sig figs, 4.6 newtons. And because force is a vector, we need the direction, so we, we can now use ta to figure out the direction. The tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite our theta is the net force in the y direction. Adjacent theta is the net force in the x direction. Taking the inverse tangent of the whole equation gives us theta is equal to the inverse tangent of the net force in the y direction divided by the net force in the x direction. Therefore, the inverse tangent of 2.781 divided by negative 3.606, which works out to be 37.641, or with two sig figs, 38 degrees. Which means the net force acting on this object is 4.6 newtons at an angle of 38 degrees north of west. That is north from west, moving the northerly direction from the west direction. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.